Hello and welcome to my channel, Making Crafts. Today I am back with my Slim Tall journal that I started back probably at the end of summer, um, last year, maybe end of summer, beginning of fall, and I've just not got back with you. I did finish it back then, um, several months ago. I just haven't had time to do a flip through of it, so I wanted to show you in case you followed along with those videos, and I will link below to those videos in case you want to see how I created this one. And this one I decided not to use any digitals, not to use, I don't think I used any cardstock or anything. I just used book pages and leftover things from old books and um, papers that I had. And I'll make sure when we go through it. It's been a while since I created it. So I do know that the cover was created just using some collage where I had cut out some uh, images from some um, field guides and different things. I think this is a field guide and this may have just been a nature book. And so first I collaged the cover with some just neutral collage and then I added these um, images to it. And then I decoupaged over it so that it sealed it all up really good. And so this journal measures about 12 by four and a half, I think. In the videos where I create it, I do believe that I give you more of the measurements, but that's approximate. And so then for the cover here, I've just kept the edges kind of raw and um, let me see, I can hold it up there for you to see. So I just kept them kind of ragged. I like that. And then I've just added some lace behind it. And so um, I have a pocket here. And this journal was inspired by Roxy's creations she, when she created her document journal. So I kind of followed along with that and created this one, but just in my own style using my own papers. Since I didn't have document papers, I just used old book pages. And now there is some ephemera in there from digital kits. I had forgotten I did that. So when I finished it up, I felt like it needed some more ephemera and different pieces in it. So I did pull out some journaling cards and different things that I had previously made using digital kits to add to it. So this was one of those, and it's just a journaling card that I made with a little lace on the edge. And then right here is just a little cluster. And then here is just some tea stained um, book page, because I was trying to use up things that was in my stash as well. Some leftover scraps and things to create this one. And so it was a lot of fun to challenge myself to um, do that. And so here's a book page that was like an art journal, not art journal, art book page. And then I've added some lace here as a belly band. And then I've just added a book page and I backed it with some graph paper so that you could use it as a journaling card. So that was a really simple journaling card. And then here's a pocket that I made using half of a book page. And then I just, you know, clipped it out and then I made a bookmark or journaling, it could be a bookmark or journaling tag or, um, I mean, journaling card or tag. It's, it could be any of those things. You can write on the back. And then I had some music sheet I put in. This is just a map page. This is from a, um, just a science book. And then I made these pockets and I have a video, I'm pretty sure I have a video showing you how I made these pockets. And I just used book pages to make these pockets. And so then inside them, I, I have different things. So this one, I have a guest check that you could use for writing, or you could use it to collage somewhere in the book. I also put some more graph paper in here. And then on this side, I have a piece of lace that is for decoration. Oh, I may have to glue that a little bit more. It's for decoration, but it's also um, can be a pocket. So I'll have to go back and just add a little glue there. I think I missed that spot. And so here's just a, a I think it's supposed to like a calligraphy book page and then here's another um, book page and then I've collaged on the back of it where the wording was I decided I wanted to cover that up so I think these are digitals here and then these are just um, notebook paper and some dotted paper and so here's another book page and I've added lace there that you could tuck things under or just use it for decoration I've got another tag that I've put in a pocket here and I think this pocket was just from a collage I had left over and so then you have another pocket up here as well on this page. And I like how those turned out. More music sheets and a good piece of paper to, for writing on. Then this is a dictionary page and I added it because I like that little bird on, on it. And then I've added a flip up here of just some collage paper that I had so that you can flip it up and journal on there. And I don't think it's a pocket. It may be a pocket. Let me see if I can find a tag and see. It's, like I told you, it's been a while since I created this one, so it's kind of new to me. Um, yeah, it's kind of like seeing something new again. I think it's a narrow pocket, actually. Let me try this one here. Bear with me, so I'll go back to the page. Okay, so yeah, it's a little pocket in there. Sometimes I do that. I, I put things like that and I leave them as pockets in case you want to add anything. Here is a little journaling card I made, and I kind of made it to look like a, um, like a photo, like, um, 
like when you used to make those little snapshots and they came out of the camera. I cannot think of the name of that right now. I know I'll think of it once I get off camera, but um, when I get on camera, I forget. But that's what I was trying to make. Polaroid. I was trying to make this look like a little Polaroid or a Polaroid picture. Wow, that's hard to say. So then I've made a pocket here with some, um, this was like a um, kind of lacy. It's a, this used to be a tablecloth. And so I've just got this at an antique shop and I love using it in different things. So I've used it here as a pocket and then I wrapped it around and it wasn't large enough. So I just added some lace here and continued the pocket. And then we have a journaling card that I made ahead before using some digitals. And I have videos on um, on how I made these. So if I can find the video, I will link below to that. And so I left this kind of ragged. I have added glue to it so, so it doesn't fray anymore, but I've left it kind of ragged. And so then I've also added these um, pockets that I made. And I do have a video making these. I used Antonio's, one of his kits. Antonio makes kits to create these and I've put the little um, wax seal on it. So I will link below to that video. And if I can find it and I remember, I'll link in the upper right hand corner here, but I will try to put the link in the description as well. And then here I have some um, just like ledger paper that I've added. And that's just newer paper. This isn't antique or anything. It's just some that a friend gave me. And then another book page. And I love this book. This book has a lot of art prints and things in it. So I love um, tearing those pages out and using them. So here I've made with another little leftover collage piece that I found. I went through my scraps and found collage pieces I had left over from other projects. And so I've just made another little journaling spot. And then you can close it up with this little latch here. And then it's also a little pocket. I've just put a little piece of paper in there for writing. And then here was the center of the book. So I've sewed this shut and I've created it so that, well, this one may, no, actually this isn't the center of this book, sorry. I've, it's been so long. I just sewed these two pages together is what it was. It was a nature book and I sewed the two pages together to make a pocket. And then I've just put another one of those journaling cards like I showed you before. And I've put a piece of um, graph paper down in there. So that is that pocket, and then we have um, another, the rest of the, another, not the rest, I'm thinking I'm on the other side, goodness gracious, it's one of those days. Um, then I have a dictionary page, and some more of that graph paper, and then this is the center, and I just left it like this because I thought that this was just such a pretty image, and I loved it, and I think if you'll watch the other videos when I was creating this, I was trying to go for a nature, botanical type theme, so that's why I used a lot of the nature scenes. And so we just have some more pages, the other side of that pocket, and another um, journaling card that I had made previously. I didn't make it for this journal. I just made this some of the ephemera that I make ahead, and so I just pulled some out for that. Another book page. So I've left this one fairly blank. You could do a lot of collaging in this one. You could do writing in this one. You could add photos, just different things. You could, um, I thought about using this one in one of the um, monthly journal challenges, but I, ha I didn't use it, finally. And so I've just got different pages in here and then some more writing, the other side of that writing paper, music paper and the book page. And then here's another page that I collaged. I just collaged the back side of this page so that there was writing space instead of words. More of that calligraphy book. And then back here in this pocket, I have just added some French um, flashcards. So it's got English on one side and French on the other. And let's see, and then I've made a um, ruffle here out of dictionary page and some washi and then I've put a little image on it and I think there's a glare so I'll hold it like that so you can see and then I've added lace to the back of it and some fabric see here then we got the map and the music sheet and I've just added um, just a little label across here and then a pocket and another journaling card and then here's another um, belly band, two layers of lace, and then I've just put a book page there so that you could use the book page to in collage or to decorate up the book. So I didn't add any journaling spot on the back of it. And let me see how I slid that in there. Might be easier to go from the bottom. There we go. And I think that's about it. Yes, that's the last page and I love that image. So, and then I've just got lace here and then lace on the side there. So I really love how this turned out and I had a lot of fun making this journal. It's hard to get the whole thing on camera, so I'll hold it this way too. I had a lot of fun uh, making it and then I just added this word dream in the top because I, I 
I just like the word dream, I guess. And but it's it's got enough space that whoever um, got this journal, they could actually add their own word in there if they wanted to. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this series. I'm sorry that it took me so long to get back to doing the flip through. So for those of you who were following along when I was creating this, hopefully um, you you'll get to see this video and see the finished journal itself. I know it's been a while and I will link below to the videos for this journal. And thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.